And I want to deal with a topic this morning entitled, How Much Do You Care? How much do you care? All right, in Romans chapter 12, verse 15, states the following. Rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep. Rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep. Firstly, I want to ask you, do you actually care about the person next to you? Are you actually interested when something happens to them? Whether good or bad, are you actually interested when something happens to them? You see, one of the biggest things that we need to understand as Christians is that we are meant to be there for one another. And so here we see that we need to rejoice when they rejoice. Man, when they get a breakthrough or something happens to them, you know, then are you really excited for them? Now, there comes a time in your life where you need to understand that spiritual maturity is needed. Okay? I mean, for years and years, I would have a vehicle that would really be operating via faith. Okay, and I must say one thing, every one of my vehicles through the years have clocked up more than 500,000 on the clock and they have been faithful and they've taken me wherever they have needed to go and I've got there. But through the years, many of my friends would get new vehicles. They'll get the new buckies and they'll get the new whatever. My question to you is this. Can you rejoice when that happens? And you know what? I could honestly do that. I could honestly rejoice when God came through for somebody around me. When the guys came with their new buckies or their new cars or whatever God helped them get, I would sit down and be so grateful for God that that family is being prosperous. Likewise, if they went through a hard time, was I able to feel with them? Am I able to sit and weep with them? Am I able to comfort them? Am I able to be there with them? Because God is expecting us to do these things. So my question is, do you really care? Do you really care? Because, you know, when somebody gets a breakthrough, they might have been trusting God for years to get that level of breakthrough that they get. Do you actually celebrate with them? When it's time to celebrate. Do you actually sit down and say. You know what. We are so excited for you. And we want to come and share. In the celebration with you. And so saints. As we come around the table today. Let us ask God. To help us. To genuinely help us. Celebrate. And be there with somebody. So that we know like we know that there is a time when we will need it in our lives. Where somebody will have to be there, mourn with us or celebrate with us. You know, I tell you what, sometimes it's just so nice where you've trusted God and you've got a breakthrough. That somebody can come and celebrate with you. You know, even if they come and eat marshmallows with you. It's just something special. My question is, are you doing it for somebody else? Are you doing it for somebody else? So on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you, taken in remembrance of me. He took the cup, he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. As the saints, as we come around the table today, let us allow the Spirit of God to use us, to minister to us, and to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you'll forgive us of all our trespasses any sin in Jesus' name. But Lord, I pray that as we take of the elements right now, Lord, that not only will we understand the power and the glory, but Lord, that we will genuinely come before you and celebrate the victories in people's lives. Lord, that we could come 
and mourn with them when they're going through a rough patch. Lord, I pray that you give us a heart of compassion, a heart of understanding. Lord, that we will never be jealous or covetousness of what they have. But Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we will come and do what you've called us to do. Father, that we will be an example. And Lord, that we will honestly, honestly be obedient to your spirit in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. I release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. I command every symptom of sickness to go. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed. I thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours. I command every form of sickness to go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing and the power of God to flow in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm so excited. It is Tuesday. So firstly, I want to remind you um, about the book of Revelation. Okay, it's coming out. Um, it's in print and it's going to be coming out very soon. Everybody who has uh, pre-ordered their books, um, we are going to release them as fast as we can. All right, you're going to get them in the next few days. And then I just want to prepare everybody that um, near the end of the year, I'm going to be releasing the next communion book. All right. It is a wonderful gift to give for Christmas. And uh, so I'm letting you know that uh, communion three will be ready. Okay. So that you can then just get ready for Christmas. I really think that that's an awesome Christmas gift. Okay. So please get ready for that uh, later in the year. But I want to speak a little bit about our fire conference. All right, I really want to encourage everybody to come to the fire conference. God has told me very clearly that I need to make the theme of this conference um, breaking the yoke of bondage, the anointing breaks, excuse me, the yoke. And we are going to trust God for a victory in your life. We are going to believe God for the supernatural to flow in your life. And we are going to pray and break all things. As we sit under the anointing of God and allow the power of God to minister to each and every one. All right. I think that it's really important for any business person to be there. We're going to be praying for businesses. We are going to be focusing on breaking off every attack that has come against the business, every attack that has come against the family, every attack that has come against you personally. So we are going to be really focusing on breaking and bringing a deliverance. So please book your spot and so get ready for that. Please go to fathersart.co.za and book your spot. It's going to be a wonderful time. It's in Rebecca Steel, just outside of Cape Town. It's a lovely venue. And so I trust that you're going to have a wonderful time together with us. Amen. So please get ready for that. It's going to be an awesome time together. And then I also want to remind you about the youth camp. If you've got young people... Please book them on the youth camp. I'm trusting God for the supernatural. And I'm believing that God is going to do something amazing for the young people. Because I know that God wants to change this generation. We need to be able to input into young people's lives. So if you know some young people, just sponsor them. Let's get them on these camps. You can also get those bookings at fathersart.co.za. Amen. All right. So tonight is prayer. All right. It's Tuesday night. I'm ready for this. 7.30, we are going to pray. All right, 7 o'clock, we're going to get a teaching on prayer. But 7.30 on a Zoom session, please come and join us. We are praying for our nation. And we are trusting God for the supernatural. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so let's pray for our nation. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, I lift up South Africa. I pray for each and every one that is represented in our nation. Lord, I pray for the leadership of our nation, that they will make godly, wise decisions. Lord, I thank you for blessing each and every one. Lord, I thank you that our nation is blessed and prosperous, and that our nation will start moving forward like we've never seen it before. 
Lord, I pray right now that you're going to move by your spirit in our lives. Lord, that you are going to help us in our businesses. And Lord, I pray that you are going to help us to move by your spirit in a mighty way. Lord, that we will be obedient as we build altars. I pray for supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts to flow in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for your blessing and anointing that rests on each and every one in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Thank you, Lord, that this, uh, this war in Israel is over. Father, I thank you that this will come to a normality. And I thank you, Lord, for a supernatural move of your spirit in that as well. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to remind you, please. Go and share this, this uh, feed, all right? Every time you come online, share the feed, share the feed, share the feed, please, because like I said, the algorithm on, um, on Facebook has changed so much that many people don't even find us. Amen. So let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, Increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. I love you lots, and I'll see you tonight.